Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be love messages for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, this is going to be um, for May 2021. We're going to take a look at the energies in and around your current situation. So this could be for singles, this could be for those of you in separation, um, or it could be for those of you in a committed union. So while I'm doing this reading, Cancer, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards that I'm using. I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Messages for my dearest Cancers. We're going to start with some angel messages. All right, so we see intention. Beautiful. So many of you guys, you're, you're going to see your intentions coming into fruition. You may be working with Law of Attraction. Um, if you guys are a Gemini Cancer cusp, that was a big theme in the Gemini reading. So the seeds of intention have been planted, so allow them to grow. All right, um, we also see listening. So listening to your intuition, listening to your internal guidance, sourcing your wisdom from those who have come before cancer. Also your personal experience. Many of you guys, you're working closely with your angels and your guides. Okay, and we see forgiveness. Mm, okay, so my, some of my cancers who are looking for reconciliation, um, this may be, you know, if that's your intention, it may be that you need to have a very important heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody, um, listening to both sides of the story, um, but it could also be about you forgiving yourself and forgiving another so that you can move forward, okay, and we get nature, the importance of spending time outdoors, cancer, do not underestimate the healing power of nature, of animals, of your pets. Um, you know, Mother Earth is so, so nurturing um, and so good for balancing out our energy. All right, let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. Messages for my dear Cancer. So you get the Queen of Swords. So Cancers, many of you guys, um, I do see that you're protecting that heart chakra. Many of you guys have been doing some inner child work, but I think you guys are also looking back at a past connection that either you felt was a twin flame or at least a mirrored soulmate. Um, and I feel like you're really, you're, you're head over heart, okay? And Cancerians, I'm a fellow Cancerian. This is not a, an energy that comes naturally to us. I mean, we can sort of ruminate and think about things, but we're very, very heart-centered. So I do see this person here. I see you protecting your heart, trying to take an analytical approach um, to this. Should you forgive this person? Should you reconcile? Should you move forward? Okay. We see the tower in your surroundings. So there's something very unexpected coming to you, Cancer. Some of you guys... Um, yeah, some of you guys, you're going to be getting some sort of unexpected communication. Some of you guys, you might run into somebody by accident. Okay. But what's holding you back is the death card, Scorpio energy. Wow, Cancer. So some really strong major arcana cards. Uh, I think you're going to be really of two minds about whether or not you reconcile with this person, Cancer, or if you let it go. Because I think some of you have been doing so much healing work and that you are quite detached or you've been trying to detach from this person or this situation. And so them coming in is just like, you know, it's like I just heard like a shot to the heart, right? So it's about, you know, the death card, about transforming. Do you go backwards? Do you go forwards? You know, can the situation move forward? Um, but many of my cancers too, I feel like there's a part of you that's been holding on to this person or to this connection, okay? And spirit it may be coming in to call judge, you know, to call judgment, um, and to, you know, to remind you that things are taken away from us when they no longer serve us, but also so that we can rebuild or we can build something stronger. So we have the King of Cups, Cancer. Some of you guys, you're dealing with another water sign, but this is just your energy. Wow. I, but it's weird. I feel like I felt like this was your person. You, your person may be coming in to tell you how much they love you. This might be somebody who was quite detached and unemotionally or emotionally unavailable in the past. Um, it might come as a tower moment um, because I feel like they're going to make some some giant confession to you. The Knight of Cups. They may have tried reaching out to you before cancer, whether you got the message or not. Okay, they may come in to tell you this Knight of Cups and this and this. 
in this deck is somebody who's quite melancholy, somebody who feels like they've missed an opportunity or has regrets or sadness around your connection. Wow, Cancer, I do feel like you're dealing with another water sign or somebody who's very, who's in deep emotionally with you. I feel, I really do feel like this is them reaching out. Um, there's some sort of tower moment, some sort of awakening here, but there's been an ending between you guys and I feel like that's sort of holding both of you back. The Princess of Wands, there's something here. Look at that, she's also clutching her heart chakra. This is a message coming to you, Cancer. This is something I think that's gonna make you very happy, but I think it's also something you've been trying to heal, you've tried to detach from, but I don't think it's been successful. And I feel like your person also is in the same energy. So that's what I'm getting. You guys are actually mirroring each other is what I'm feeling. We get the moon card, Pisces or Cancerian energy. I'm telling you, you guys are most likely dealing with another water sign. This is some sort of revelation. Somebody's going to come in and tell you they haven't been able to move on. Cancer, um, there's nobody like you. They, they're realizing there's the depth of this connection. Um, but there's something here about this ending. They might not be sure if you'll accept them. That might be delaying them or holding them back. Wow. Okay. And then we get the lover's card in reverse, Gemini energy. Okay, we get the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys, wow, and the Ace of Wands. Some of you guys, this person is going to confirm. You may already know this. Like, you might know that this person has moved on with somebody else. For some of you, this person is going to confirm that there was a third-party situation that came in between you, but they're no longer interested in them or they no longer want them. They want you. They want this new beginning. Spirit is actually, what I'm getting here, Spirit is... Um, is is gu divinely guiding them to tell you this, to reach out to you. Um, I, I feel like this person is very, very difficult for them, but there's some sort of revelation here that there was a third party that broke you guys up or came in between you guys, or that's why they, there's been this distance. But I think you're going to learn this tower moment, and that's why you're going to be of two minds, Cancer, because not all of you did this person like cheat on you or leave you for somebody else. You know, it could be that, you know, you guys were never really in a committed relationship, or it could also be that, you know, you guys broke up and they've been with somebody else, but you're going to find out that that connection was a karmic connection. They're leaving them and they want to reconcile with you. Overall energy, the five of discs. This person sees you as their soulmate cancer. They want stability, safety, and security. They're going to come in. They want, they're going to actually, I feel like they're going to come in quite quickly. They are hesitant. They are nervous because whatever, however things ended or however you left things, cancer has been you know, it wasn't nice or they're nervous about that. So you're really, you know, you're going to be, you, you're being told, you're being asked to listen to this person. Many of you guys are manifesting their return. Um, I kind of wanted to move away from, you know, I wanted it to be more like this energy of like what's coming towards you, something new, but this is undeniably, this is a past person. Okay, this is somebody who has regret, remorse, or shame about the way things ended between you guys, but they see you as their person. Even if you're angry with this person, Cancer, it's going to make you really happy. They're coming in to tell you the truth. They're going to come in and tell you. And this is something that you are manifesting, whether you recognize it or not, this new beginning. What you do with this information, you guys are, it's all, it's going to be different. But it's, you know, the five of discs in reverse. Wow, for some of you guys, you guys are going to, you know, this is two people moving off together on the same path, okay? But for others of you, you know, you the decision is yours is what spirit wants you to know. All right, we get indecision. There's that indecision. I knew it. Some of you guys are, it, you're not expecting this. Um, you might have thought things were completely over. You know, and again, this could be somebody recent. This could be somebody really from your past. But you're, you have a decision to make here, Cancer. You can either heal it or you can move on to something new. Ooh, there's a part of you that's going to be very happy with whatever this is. You're not going to be happy about what they told you because they are going to be confirming suspicions about some sort of third party energy. Okay. Or why you broke up, but this person does not want to let you go. Cancer. Yeah, they see your value, they see your worth and your value. If they didn't in the past, some of my cancers, even though you're going to feel pretty good about them coming in with an apology, um, this is just a reminder to hold yourself in high regard, okay? Make sure that they come at you correct, that they're not coming in just because something else didn't work out, um, that they're really truly, like, they're they're being open, they're not brushing anything under the rug, Um 
yeah, that you're, you're, you're being asked to be strong. This is a really important decision. This is Leo energy, but I'm also seeing here that Cancers, that you guys are, they, this is how they see you. They see you as fierce. They see you as this queen of wands, okay? They see you as this very sexy, very put together, very strong. They may have sort of underestimated you in the past, Cancer. Oh yeah, but they see you as this moon goddess. They see you as very intuitive. They're intuitively drawn to you. They may have tried to release you as well. Again, many of you guys, they are going to make a confession or confirmation here that somebody, that there was a third party energy that got in the way. But what I think some of them, they've even sort of been a little bit in their feels like, or feeling like that you did some spell work or something, or they're just really under your spell. Okay, I feel like this is going to make you very happy, Cancer. Um, but again, you also, you're you're not so sure. You're not going to rush into this because it really depends on what they say to you and how they say it, okay? Somebody here, they're coming out of a previous commitment. I'm absolutely seeing that, Cancer. They, they, may, have, they may have tried to replace you. Okay. Again, it doesn't mean that all of them, they, they, you know, they cheated on you, but they have not been able to get you out of their mind. Okay. They are nervous because I feel like they're, they're intuitively, they're being drawn back to you. They have regret and remorse about the way things ended or, you know, again, they just haven't been able to find anybody who lives up to you. They see you as this moon goddess. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and see. And that's who that's Cancerian energy, right? They want a new beginning. Their being spirit is 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 bringing them back to you. Okay, let's go ahead and see. If if you have Gemini energy and we see the Gemini with the lovers card, that that reading was about a very intense soul connection. Okay. So we get playfulness. This card is coming out for everybody. So this is because I think we have Venus moving into Gemini. So you're being asked to be playful, to be light, to be airy, to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I also feel like this person is freeing themselves up from a karmic situation and they're moving right towards you. They have something to tell you. Okay, but many of my cancers, again, you're, you, you decide here if you want a new beginning with this person. Is it forgivable what happened or how they treated you? Okay, because it's, it's going to be different for each of us, right? There's a strong magnetic attraction. So this is that, that this lunar energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces is what I'm getting because I'm getting lots of moon energy. Cancer, Pisces, maybe a Scorpio, definitely water energy. But there's this magnetic pull between you guys that's unexplainable. This person's coming in for a second chance. For some of you guys, you were married to this person. For others of you... Um, you guys talked about marriage. They might come in and make some sort of sweeping sort of gesture like, you know, I, you're the one for me. I want to get married because the five of discs in reverse takes us back to that four of wands. Um, they want, you know, they, they want to get, they want a second chance with you, Cancer, without a doubt. All right, let's go ahead and see what else comes through. They see your worth and they see your value. Some of you guys, if this is somebody from way far off in your past, it's like your lives have taken different turns, but you, you're doing quite well financially, Cancer, or you will be. Um, and some of you guys, you know, you have intuitively based businesses. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this person, again, it could be somebody from your childhood um, it could be, it, it is definitely a past person. Okay. You guys, for those of you looking for new love, this may not be your reading, but do check out your other signs. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So this is about an equal give and take. This person might not have been, um, this person may not have invested in your connection in the past, or there was some sort of um, lack of balance. Um, but then we see this balance being restored. This person wants to restore balance. They think you bring balance to their life. So love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. All right. And we also get soulmate. Yeah, this person is, wow, this person sees you as their soulmate. There's a lot of regret and remorse. They want to come out of conflict. They see you as the one. They see you as somebody bringing balance to their life. Um, and many of you guys, you're going to be finding out that this person is no longer in a karmic situation. Again, not for all of you did this person leave you or do you dirty. You know, it's just about like your lives took different twists and different turns. All right. So, you know, forgiveness, cancer is up to you.
Um, but remember, I believe it's the Dalai Lama who says, you know, if we hold on to resentment, it only poisons us, not the person that we're resenting, right? So regardless, in order to move forward, um, it's about, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving this person, and you decide, okay, if it's with them or if it's with someone else. Sending you lots of love and light, my dear Cancers. Take care.